And so one of the first thing you want to do is to help release the lower back, it, it helps to get sung kwa. That is, you want to get your, your hip, jo hip joints uh, freed up of muscular tension, which then allows you to release the butt muscles and then also lets go of some of the lower back tension. So uh, one exercise we can do for that is uh, put your uh, right foot forward and pick up your your left heel. So you're just lightly on the toe of your left foot. And you want to feel your central equilibrium. That is, you want to feel the weight centered on your right foot, your body vertical, and have the uh, centering around the, the, the ball of the foot. And so the idea here is you first you just push away with your right leg, you're kind of as if you're going to lift up and then uh, release down and spiral down to the right and then turn to the left and then turn to the right. And so back and forth like that, nice and easy, a very smooth, soft swing kind of motion there where you're just rotating very gently and you're releasing down, down, down into that right leg and you're releasing the, the tendency of the bodies to the leg to push away from the ground and lift up. So you're releasing down, just going back and forth nice and easy like this and feeling what it feels like to have no resistance in your hip joint and in the muscles surrounding the hip joint, your qua. So we're getting sung in the... Good. Now go into your, your left foot, feel the ball of your left foot, set the left knee, pick up your, the heel of your right foot. You want to get vertical again also. And notice here that I'm not leaning back, you know, I'm not leaning forward, I'm just nice and vertical, feeling the, my center line going right down through the ball of my foot. So push away and then release down, spiral down to the left and then turn to the right and then turn to the left. So this pushing away activates those young tendencies of the muscles to, to contract. And then the releasing down, spiraling down allows us to get sung. So now we are releasing into the supporting network of the leg. And that is where you're primarily the connective tissue system that's doing the work and the muscles are acting in support of that. But the real key here is having an awareness of, of the releasing the qua, letting go of that, how much can I let go? And, and also noticing if there's a tendency to sashay to the side, then you don't wanna do that. You wanna just rotate around that central pole. Okay, good. Now put your left foot forward, pick up your right heel. Same deal here. You're going to push away and spiral down to the left and turn to the right. Nice and easy. And as you do this, you also want to reach for the crown of the head. Feel all the other cool stuff that we do in the three pillars. Reach with your elbows. Relax your shoulders, feel your index fingers. You wanna have that sense of, of energetic coherence as well. But we're primarily letting go of this muscular tension and getting very, very soon. Tuck in the chin and open up the jade pillow gate. And as you're turning, it doesn't matter how far you turn. This is not like a, kind of nothing like that. It's just very soft, very gentle. The key here is qua awareness. Can I, how much can I release and trust that leg? And what this is doing also as you release is letting go of lower back tension. Your muscles are contracting, releasing, contracting, releasing. So you give yourself a little internal massage as you do that. Uh, now pick uh, 
pick up your front heel, your right heel, feel the ball of the right foot. Set the right knee, push away from the earth. You're lifting up and then ah, floating down, spiraling down, turning, turning nice and easy, very gentle. And not a lot of huffing and puffing in this one, but you get a workout nonetheless, just by releasing and feeling this yin support of your leg, the support of the connective tissue. Good. Okay. So feet uh, hip width. And now we're going to uh, we're going to open the jade pillow gate, and that's uh, even more. We're going to lengthen the the connective tissue and the muscles along the uh, the back of the neck. You can do it by uh, you know just feel into that point right there at the base of the skull where the where the, the spine enters into the, uh, the cranium. And we're gonna pivot from that point. So as you inhale, you, you lift up your chin and exhale, reach down with your chin. You feel that lengthening at the back of your neck. So by doing this, you are, activating your jingshan, your spirit of vitality. But you're also doing something structurally by releasing tension there, you're giving a signal to your spine to relax. If it's tense in the neck, then it's going to, the rest of your body is going to get tense as well. And so this by releasing the at the topmost vertebra, you uh, allow the rest of the spine to start to let go. Good. All right, now reach out with your right arm and reach your head to the left and feel that lengthening along your neck, shoulder, down your arm, and rotate and feel around, change the position of your arm till you find where it's doing you the most good. You can move your head too and feel that. So by lengthening this, your neck, your shoulder, etc., you also free up the uh, tension in, in the back. Now go to the other side, reach the head, reach with your fingers, lengthen, feel that stretch there. Uh, you're letting go. It's an internal lengthening. Good. Rotate the head. And you're exploring the range of motion as you do this. Reaching with the crown of your head as you do it. So you're lengthening the spine, lengthening the neck vertebra, vertebrae as you, as you rotate. And you're also exploring and finding out where you might have little hangups in your neck rotation. Return the other way. You wanna, but you wanna create space between the vertebrae. And, lay, and uh, release the muscular tension that's pinning those vertebrae into a compressed state. Good. Now we're going to do a turkey head, which is basically you push your face forward like this and then pull it back. So again, we're 
pivoting from the jade pillow gate. We're creating space there. Good. Now we're going to uh, we're going to roll down the spine. And so the idea, basic idea is that you're going to begin at the top and first work with the cervical or neck vertebrae. And you're going to release those, bring your chin to your chest, and you're going to release those. Then you're going to release your thoracic vertebrae, which are your upper spine and you kind of go down like this. Notice how I'm stacking up the vertebrae underneath as I do that. We're not doing this, this is just demonstration here. And then you get down and release the lumbar, which is the lower back there. And then we get to the bottom, we straighten our knees and then we, we continue to drop. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start that. To begin with, stack everything up so you're nice and vertical reaching with the crown of your head. And as you do this, you're gonna to continue to reach out where you're lengthening the spine. So, and use your breath, deep breaths, very soft. And so you begin and open up the jade pillow gate, the topmost vertebra. We're working with the cervical spine now. And, Try to release them one at a time by keeping the vertebrae underneath the, the one you're working on, keeping that stacked vertically, and just letting go of the muscular tension that holds the one you're focusing on. Okay, so now we're going to go with the thoracic vertebrae. This is the upper back. Each time you exhale, you feel yourself letting go of some muscular tension. Doesn't have to be precise, you're just gradually increasing your spinal awareness. Usually by the time you have back pain, you've already missed a few of the, the clues that your body is sending you. So we're, by increasing your awareness, your back awareness, you can spot the point sooner where things, where the, before the trolley jumps the tracks. Now the lumbar vertebrae, that's the lowest, the lowest uh, five vertebrae. Make sure you release uh, your tension in your butt and in your legs as you do this. Keep your chin to your chest. Rolling down. Knees are unlocked, round and they're bent. Take down. Good, now you're gonna straighten your knees and continue to drop. But as you inhale, come up just a little bit. And then as you exhale, drop a little lower. So you're just using your body weight to, to uh, drop, your, uh, drop your torso. And now bend your knees, drop your butt, and start to come up, straightening, beginning with the lumbar, starting to stack them up again.
Now go to your thoracic vertebrae, your upper back. Start to straighten them out. Now your cervical vertebrae, your neck vertebrae. You feel that uh, the neutral posture there with everything stacked up. And just consciously release any extraneous muscular tension you might feel. Your legs and your butt, your back, your neck. Feel very sung. Uh, now hands come up. Yeah. Arch your back. Open the chest, open the shoulders, reach. Breathe, allow the weight of your arm to just open the chest and shoulders. And then come up and round the back. So it looks like this, you're rounding the back. And then as you inhale, you come up and arch your back and open. And exhale and round your back and inhale. And exhale. And continue. Now we're going to do something called knocking on the door. Basically, you're, you set your elbow and then you move back like this, which kind of opens up your shoulder and chest. And the other hand goes the opposite direction. So you're going one, two, and then you reverse it and you go one, two. And nice and easy, just gently asking your muscles, your connective tissue, to open up a little bit. You're expanding your range of motion. You're kicking some of the rust off of the uh, your body mind as it's gotten a little bit smaller and more contracted over the years. So we're kind of reversing that. We're reclaiming lost territory here. Ah, and relax. So push away from the earth and then spiral down and to get very soon. Reach out with your elbows, reach with the crown of your head. And just feel the energy circulating throughout your, your whole system. So a lot of what we do is uh, uh, work is, is, is we do, we work with Nei Chi, that is internal Chi and in internal qigong exercises, uh, so it's a neigong. And then what we're doing here is this a little more like weigong, which is external. That is, we're moving the qi by creating more uh, movement in the body. And both are important for your overall health and well-being. So now we're going to do a, um, a big circles. And this is cool because we're going to arch the back and reach around like this, and then round the back, come coming down, sink down, squatting down as you come down like this, and then up, and arch the back again. So that's the uh, that's the drill there. So I'll do it sideways so you can see you can follow along. So here we go. So we're going to inhale. Arch the back, 
open and then exhale, sink and around the back and inhale. Exhale, sink down. Arms are very relaxed, reaching, but not tensing. You're exploring the range of motion. Good. Now reverse it. Your inhale as you arch your back, arms come up. Exhale, reach out, sink down. And inhale, arch. Exhale, rounding the back. And close. And push away and sink and release, get very soon. And just let your arms hang and feel them unwinding. Feel the accumulated muscular tension of decade, just kind of dripping off your fingertips. And let them, let the, uh, the tissues, the, the connective tissues, the muscle fibers, et cetera, kind of unwind like, like uh, an old style telephone with a cord and everything. So let it hang there and just let it unwind. And as you do it, pay attention to the chi in your hands as you do that. And now hands come up the center and then reach out to the sides, palms down. Notice that my elbows are dropped. My wrists are above my elbows, right above my shoulder height. I'm reaching out with my fingers. So notice like that, not so, Bring my shoulder, weight, shoulder blades together and back. And the idea is you're just making small circles with your fingertips, moving from the rotator cuff. So you're reaching out. And the key to this is you don't want the elbow to come up like that. You want to drop the elbow. And feel the, uh, relax the shoulders and feel into the, uh, into the action there, the energy moving through the shoulders, the shoulders themselves not doing much work. They're still rotating the arms, which is what a good rotator cuff should do, but it, you're letting go of the other extraneous muscular tension. Good, now palms up and go the other way. And then relax. And let them hang again. Yes. Good, now step in, take a deep breath, and disappear the chi.
and just relax into the stillness, you know, the emptiness there. And feel the motion and stillness, all the activity that's occurring on inside your body. <clears throat> 